Hey everybody, my name is Tom and this is Don't Starve. We're back again to look at a few more mods. Now you will notice um, some of the the smarter or more savvy eyes among you may have noticed that the screen is rather busy. Um, there's quite a lot of stuff going on. Um, so yeah, I've installed a couple of mods. Um, these are not available in Steam Workshop yet, so it's something that you'll need to, to look at from the, um, the Don't Starve forums. But I'll give you a link in the description below for both of these mods, which I think are really, really, really awesome. They're essential probably. Um, to do well in the game, I'd imagine. So, the first mod, you may have realised we have extra room down at the bottom in our backpack over here. What we've got here is the RPG HUD mod, uh, which will essentially give you, um, it actually comes in a number of different formats. You can get one for 20 slots, one for 25 slots, one for 55 slots, and, um, and it will essentially give you more room to put items in. It uh, will give you slots up here for um, equipped with whether it's weapon or tool, your armor slots, you've got one for your amulets and one for a backpack. The backpack stays open on the right hand side if you select to do so. Um, and yeah, it just basically gives you more room. It means item management is much easier, you can carry more things with you, you can do more with your items. Um, and I do enjoy this bar here for the individual things. It makes much more sense to have actual, um, like a separate from your 20 slots at the bottom. So that's very cool. Um, I haven't um, managed to get an amulet yet to put in my amulet bar, but that's something that will work towards. Um, my max stack of berries has been depleting and it's also running low in... Um, and um, what do you call it again? And freshness, yes, freshness. I need to get myself a cool box or maybe some sort of um, fridge type device if we can. We'll cook a few of these and we'll eat some of these. And yeah, that will lead us to the next part that I wanted to touch upon. What we have here, these bars, you'll notice in the top right it's actually removed the stomach, brain, and heart icons. What it's done is it's actually given you a bar to tell you at the bottom here what each of those bars has left. Usually we'd have to mouse over. So this is the always on status. Did I hear what? Well, so you're going a little crazy, my friend. Um, you shouldn't be. You look fine. Oh wait, hold on. The dogs. Oh, it's the hounds. I can hear hounds. Um. Anyway, before the hounds arrive, let's try and get something done here. So, <laughs> um. So yes, we can see we've got our um health or our hunger health and um, our sanity. You've also got your temperature and you've got your naughtiness meter. It actually tells you your naughtiness in the bottom left here. That's really, really good. Um, it will allow you to see how close you are to... Oh, it's sleeping, yes, very good. Um, yes, yeah, so it'll allow you to see how close you are to Krampus showing up, which is nice to know. Um, I'm not usually one for killing all the random piggies and such, so... I don't really find myself in a naughtiness situation with Krampus, but yeah, it's good to have that information. Oh, it's a gobbler! Turkey! Um, <laughs> the turkeys are probably my favourite part of this whole game, they're hysterical. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, yeah, so you've got your naughtiness, you've got your hunger, you've got your health, you've got your sanity. Mm, better. Oh wait, if I run out of wood? God! Right, let's go and find some trees. Um, yeah, so it's nice to have those there, so you can see where you are with your with your different stats. Um, those hounds are getting close. I really don't fancy having to fight some hounds, but ah well. Choppy, choppy, choppy. We'll pick up some wood and we'll go back and light that fire. Two should be enough to get us through the night. Um, yeah, so it's nice to have all of those items now. You can actually decrease the size of your um, your HUD, you, the GUI. Oh my god. Right, you. Armour. This is when I need you the most. Come on. Chop them. Okay, we need to run. Oh, we've got one. Yes. Chester, help me. Oh, okay. Haha. -ha. What are you open for? Oh, yeah, okay. Chester, my friend, you done good. Um, no, um, this is something that I have noticed, however. That when you open Chester... We seem to have a problem with um, picking certain items out to put in, but that's something that we can address with a with a bug report, um, which I'm going to put through to the guy that made these. Now, to get these, you have to actually go on the Don't Starve forum. You can't get them through Steam Workshop yet. Um, I don't know whether the gentleman that's or, or the, the girl, of course, that made these is going to do that, but um, I'd imagine they'll end up there at some point. So yes, so if you fancy either of these mods, certainly check them out on the forum. My name's Tom. This is Don't Starve. We'll see you next time.